How you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. Are you guys ready to see one of the world's craziest private home aquariums? Well, come on in. So to start you guys off with, in the front of the house, we have this magnificent aquascape ecosystem pond. This pond is close to 3,000 gallons. This was built by Greg Whitstock in Aquascape. It is a beautiful masterpiece of a pond for the whole front yard. It makes the whole front of the house look absolutely amazing. We've got this nice little walk bridge coming up back here to some steps, going to a bench back there. We have a picnic table over there, as well as we have a front swing and a picnic table over here. Now you come around this side and you get to see the waterfall. Now this is a beautiful water feature right in our, our front yard. Up here we have the whole bog filter system. You can see that there's a bunch of algae growing in here. Now the purpose for this is we let all the algae grow up in this bog filter. There's no fish up here, but all this algae grows and pulls all the nutrients out of the water and you're able to grow string algae up here and it prevents it from growing down here and in the rest of the, the, the pond. So that makes this water stay sparkling clear all year round. You can see the plants are just starting to come up all around the, the pond. We've got hostas on the side. We've got, you know, sweet flag back there. We've got hostas growing there. We've got more variegated tall grass, irises, and the lilies are just starting to come up. So we'll take you inside and show you the next bit. Coming in at tank number two, this is our first go at a truly planted aquarium. There is no CO2 on it. There is no added nutrients. There's only a grow bulb on it. And uh, this is a 150 gallon, just your typical community. We've got things in here like tetras. We've got Bosmani rainbows. We've got Cory cats. There's a bunch of little plecos in here. Of course, we've got the cactus pleco there. But this is a tank that we always propagate plants from. You see the, the valves growing up in the back. Those will get big and bushy and we'll cut them down and use all the cuttings in a smaller tank. We've got one of the Mary Crip plants back here. We've got some garamis. And this is just a, a smaller community that we used to give a bunch of fish out, out of, but since the stock's thinning out and every time we're in there with nets, we kind of mess up the plants. We stopped uh, giving out fish from, from in here. But my favorite feature of this tank is the little Groot statues. Aren't they just adorable? We've got two of them guys in there. So now that you guys seen the pond out front and you saw the, the planted aquarium inside the house, we are now in another portion of the house that we're going to go ahead and show you guys the rest of the tanks. These tanks are completely magnificent. Come take a look. So for starters over here, this is a 350 gallon DAS tank that we made into a strictly African cichlid tank. Down here you've got assortments of all kinds. There's Mbunas, there's uh, OV Peacocks. Just pretty much from every little lake over in Africa, we've got something for everyone in here. Some of the, the favorites, look at that Venustus right there. Just a beautiful fish, OB peacocks, Aratus. We've got, uh, oh, here we go. Look at this star sapphire. This actually we got from what one of our buddies, he was up here at a fish show and he dropped them off. We've got some dolphins. Just every which way you look, you find something absolutely stunning in color. And uh, we've got quite a bit in here. If I had to guess, there's anywhere from 100 to 200 African cichlids in here. But also tied on to the same system is over here we have this 200 gallon cube. Now this is my baby grow out. It's a little bit dirty right now because I keep throwing in small little, little uh, fruit ride bites, but these guys are finally starting to grow, and these guys will join the African cichlid community. All right, let's take you in and show you guys yet another tank. 
Now, as you walk in, you see this big mammoth tank off to your right. This is actually a plywood build that uh, me and my father actually made. This is a 3,000 gallon aquarium. It is 16 foot long, six and a half foot wide, and four foot tall. But inside this tank, we have a bunch of happy inhabitants. We have tiger shovel nose catfish. We have albino giant gourami. We have the dovi cichlid. We have red tail catfish. We have Niger cats. Over here we have a Wallago Leary. Now most of these guys are rescues because we do run the Ohio Fish Rescue, as you might know. But over here, there is a true black Paku. There's actually two of them. You guys don't see them all too often. They're not something yet that are readily available in the aquarium trade. Over here we have the alligator gar. One, one of the most ferocious fish for what that they are. These guys love to eat. And you better watch your fingers. <laughs> Alrighty, what else do we have in here? We have the granulosis catfish. Now we also have the hybrid between the tiger shovel nose and the marble cat. And I think that about does it. Oh, there's also some iridescent sharks in there. I'm sorry. But as you can see, the fish are all fat and healthy, looking beautiful. And that is yet another tank. Now if we pan left over here, you guys can see this is a 550 gallon DAS aquarium. Now this was a tank that was donated to us and we use it for our beautiful black diamond stingrays. You guys can see they just have some wonderful patterns on them and some wonderful coloration. There goes some side views on them. These are all females as I am growing them out for breeder stock to help fund everything around here. We have a fifth one back there. And here goes uh, Indo-Pacific tarpon and the big boy Atlantic tarpon. Now we come around here. This is a 650 gallon DAS aquarium that I got at an auction from one of our local pet stores. But we have our Bosmani Super Spot Hybrid Female along with a Henley Eye Female that I uh, was actually being bred with so she was a little tore up. So we're letting her heal and I actually think she's pregnant right now. But we also have uh, Marble Achara Catfish or Learius Marmoratus. We have uh, Sims Pillis over there. We have Red Atabapo Pikes and Red Devil Midas Cichlids beautiful fish and a beautiful tank swinging over here here goes a 180 gallon aquarium now this tank is stocked with a 18 inch or so black arowana there is a royal clown knife what a beauty he is down here we have a true peri eva catfish now this is the Pariva, the cat got the freedom. He only gets about five foot long. Down here we have two ornate bitchers and a Dalhizi bitcher back there. Over here we have a Weeksy bitcher and then we have another Marble Achara hybrid along with a beautiful Tementis peacock bass. These guys are one of the largest breeds of peacock bass. And up here we have a NTT thin bar datanoid just a beautiful fish and up here you can see we have this is our filtration we use it is an 800 gallon settling chamber outfitted with a nine sock table that we have uh, 100 micron socks in and nothing but pothos going on here to help filter out some of the nitrates now we do have planted tanks this is a planted 90 gallon with a 3d background and we have this filled with uh, angelfish. And there are a couple uh, clown loaches in here. But we have some water sprite growing up top with some jungle vowel and some anubias. Just some beautiful fish. Down below in the 75, we have the black devil catfish. The hemabagris wikii. And he is a meanie. Just look at that mugshot. <laughs> But he's one of my favorite cats, so I cannot disregard him. But he will be getting a new tank. Over here, this is a 2,500-gallon pond outfitted with some of my raid breeders. 
There's a P14, here's a hybrid, and of course, a three foot Arapaima gigas. Now this is supposedly a super red, but you can see all the red coming out on his tail. Just an absolute beauty. Now there's a few more rays hiding back there, but uh, they're not out right now. So we're gonna continue on with this tour. But that is a 2,500 gallon ray pond. Down here is a 100 gallon frag tank that I use for quarantine. This is a lungfish that we got in that he's just about ready to move up to another tank. This is a West African lungfish, just over 30 inches long. Now we move up top. We have a bunch of baby Indonesian uh, tiger dapnoids. This is a 195 gallon aquarium. Uh, over here we have a flag tail Prachiatus. And there's some uh, Siamese big head carps. Down here we have a Jeremese catfish. This guy is just a few months old. And he's already getting beefy. He's probably about 10 inches long or so. Now we move down the line, and over here we have the Pseudocanthicus serratus. This is also known as the Black Dragon Pacostomus. Just a beauty. We have two males and one female that we're actually trying to breed. We have the Striped Raphaella catfish. He's a pretty big boy. Also in there is an Arweenie cat, but he's hiding. And over here, this is the Armadus, the saber-toothed barracuda. He's just over 20 inches long, and he has got the attitude to match his name. This guy is absolutely ferocious. I can't really keep too many other fish in with him, so eventually he's going to be a species-only tank, and what that tank might be, I will show you later on in the video. So over here, we're gonna go ahead and pan over to the 110 gallon tank to where I have a few more Tenensis peacock bass uh, growing out, some pink kissing garamis, and tiger datnoids that just love to run. <laughs> Down below, this is another 75 gallon with a Asian red tailed catfish. And uh, he's getting ready to join another community of cats. I'm gonna see if I can get two Asian red tails in the same tank. But now we pan up going down this center aisle. This is a 2200 gallon aquarium. It is uh, 16 foot long, six foot wide, and three foot tall. This tank was made by Tenacore. Now the stocking we use in this tank is very peculiar as it is all albino and xanthic fish. So starting off, we have an albino gibiceps pleco right there. We, of course, we have a leucistic uh, giant garami. We have this beast. This is a platinum red tail catfish. Look at that beauty. This was actually donated to us by our buddy, Vincent Wu. Some of you guys might know of his collection as he keeps some very, very fine fish in the hobby. Always, want, always a pleasure to look at his stock. Up here is a Xanthic tilapia. We have two albino tiger oscars. And then we have an albino red. We have two true albino garamis. Another albino red. There is a albino clown knife right there. And then we have two albino channel cats and one Xanthic or gold channel cat. And then back there is a chocolate pleco that was mistaken as a, uh, a xanthic. I don't think he's actually a xanthic. He's just a chocolate pleco. But he stays in there for, for the time being. Now moving down the line, this is a 750 gallon aquarium. This is 8 foot long, 5 foot wide. And we have things like the frontosa in here, some veil tail oscars. And of course we have another tiger shovel nose. We have the Eclipse or the Sun Cats. There is an Enlachery Bleacher hiding behind those plants. We have Florida Gar. We have a Pictus Cat right there. He's just an overgrown Pictus Cat. Coming around this side, we have another African lungfish of a different variety. But he's just over 30 inches long as well. We have 
tiger datnoid, endo tiger datnoid. We have another smaller granulosis or a granulated cat. We have the azul peacock bass. Look at that beautiful blue coloring on him. And up here, floating on the top, this is a true melanistic alligator gar. And that is just a beautiful fish. He is jet black, no spotting to him. He is just beautiful. Um, there's also xanthic clown knives in here, another Asian red tail. And right back there is a vulture catfish. Now panning back this way, there is an 80 gallon aquarium with a 24 inch Abba Abba knife, which is actually getting a new home here relatively soon. But he is just a beautiful creature. You can see the way he uh, just articulates his fins. Always just a, a pleasure to watch him swim. And he is a beast. I cannot keep him in with any other fish as he will attack and kill anything I put in the tank. He attacks hoses. He will, will try to attack you. So I don't advise sticking your hand in an aquarium with an Abba Abba knife. But a beautiful fish nonetheless. Up here we have uh, some quarantine stacks. We have, of course, some fancy tail guppies that uh, we do give out. Down here we have some albino clawed frogs and a regular African clawed frog. Over here we just have some water sprite growing out. Down here we have a six, seven inch gulper catfish. These guys are always fun to feed. I do not feed no live fish but I do have him feeding on tilapia fillets. And down here we have a gold Asian red tail catfish. He's growing out to eventually go into the 2200. Now coming down here, we're not gonna get into them tanks yet, so just hold your horses. Over here we have a 65 gallon with a 40 gallon below. Same thing over here. We use these as primarily quarantine for our rescue fish that we are homing. This is a breeding pair of Oscars. We have some albino Oscars down below. And we have a red Oscar there. There we go. Now, he, he can't get him in a, a bit sick. We are, like I said, these are quarantine tanks. And we are using them as such. These guys always go through a three-week treatment. These guys actually just came in too. But they go through three different rounds of treatment before they either get, get placed or home. This guy here is a type of flower horn. He is just a magnificent looking flower horn. Look at the coloring on him. The, every day that goes by, the more coloring comes out of him. Just a beautiful fish. Now panning back over here, this is a 2,000 gallon aquarium that we are in the process of filling and setting up. We are gonna use this as a Paku only aquarium. I have the filtration set up on there just so the bacteria does not die. But this tank actually came from SeaWorld. So awesome background story on this guy. We probably have about two foot of water in it now and um, more to come in the next few days. Panning back over here, this is a thousand gallon aquarium that came from the Columbus Zoo that we are in the process of setting up. Well, all I have to do is cap that hole and we will be good to go. I'm actually going to sand down this area where the uh, internal overflow was and we're going to actually recoat the inside of the tank. Over here is the 500 get gallon cube. We actually took some water out of it to get more water in there and we were basically doing a water change on this tank. But this is a 500 gallon cube. There's just a little uh, pair of tilapia budicophori in here but this is nonetheless a beautiful tank panning over here this is a 700 gallon quarantine tank of course we have some of the silver air one over here and this is actually one of our prize fish this is a 34 inch Adonis Pleco which is absolutely massive down below we have a 135 gallon quarantine tank that we will be setting up shortly Another 55 gallon quarantine as well as another 135. Back here we have a 550 gallon DAS tank that's actually neared to the one I showed you previously. 
And this is strictly for quarantine of bigger fish. We have some tiger shovel nose in here, a hybrid shovel nose red tail cat, and another leucistic giant grommy. Now coming over here, this is a 300 gallon cube. This is the home to our mascot Pittsburgh. He is a 26 inch MBU puffer. And he is just an adorable little guy. He gets fed clams weekly. He eats a whole big pack to himself to try and uh, grind down that beak of his. As you can see, he makes an absolute mess. I try and clean it up, but then we feed more clams. There is a colony of guppies in here that we've been uh, trying to catch out, but they are small and they, they love to hide. Now on to some more tanks, guys. Looking over here, this is a 1,000 gallon aquarium. This uh, was made by Tenacore before they shut down, but this is home to a vast variety. We call it a, a community tank, but there are some predators in, in here, but it is a very peaceful tank. We've got tin foil barbs, uh, gold tin foil barbs. We've got African leaf fish. We've got ballast sharks. We have flag tails. We've got a Brakon Dentex, which is in the Dorado family. Another flag tail. This guy up here who is uh, waiting for some food, that is a fire eel. And these guys are so personable. I love these fish. There are three of them in here. There's one, two, and three. Also, we've got the Chinese gold algae eater. We've got some parrot fish, an African scat. We've got, of course, Pictus cats in here. We've got about 15 different species of silver dollars. There's wide bars, thin bars, blackberries, all different kinds. Tiger stripe, green spot, red spot. There is a spotted gar, which is actually trying to get some air right now. <laughs> Over here, we have a black spotted eel. What else do we have in here? Oh, look at this guy. This is a red-tailed giant garami. He's just starting to become a stunning looking fish. Uh, there are some more tire track eels hiding behind the, the wood, but uh, they're, they're hiding right now so we can't see them. There is a cigar barb right there with a the red tail. He's also a cool looking fish. And of course, kissing garamis. So now pan to the left of this 1,000 gallon. You get one of the largest tanks that we have here. This is a 4,400 gallon aquarium. It is 14 foot long, seven foot from front to back, and six foot tall. It was made by Water Dog Products. And the front panel on this is actually three inch thick acrylic. It is a, a job to filter the, this tank and get in and maintain it and clean it, as there are some pretty big fish in here. This guy that stands out the most, this is a three foot xanthic iridescent shark. His name is Schwarzenegger and he's been with us for over 20 years. Of course, you've got some beautiful colored fish in here like the Bokori cichlid. Of course, you've got Sir Heisenberg von Fishface. He is a giant grommy that we actually rescued a few years back. Along with him, you have a smaller red-tailed giant grommy, which I can't seem to find right now. It is super easy to lose fish in this tank, but we will eventually get to him. Um, oh, there he is. He was donated by a buddy of ours named Russ, and he's been living with us ever since. This has got to be one of the largest Oscars I've ever laid my eyes on. We measured him putting them in here at 16 and a half inches long. And then, of course, he has his counterpart, which is a red Oscar, but he is only 16 and a quarter. Now, of course, we have albino pacus in here. There's three of them, and they are just over two foot. Probably the biggest is 26 inches. One of my favorite fish in this tank right here is the lynx catfish. This is something you don't really see in the hobby all too often, as they are super hard to ship. And they are kind of hard to uh, import because of that. You don't usually see them at a small size to be able to import them. They are all uh, shipped in at, you know, 18 to 24 inch mark. And we just happened to get lucky that one of my buddies was selling this catfish and he was a half hour away. So we went ahead and picked up this beautiful catfish. Down below here, 
This is an African giraffe catfish. We actually have two different species in the tank, both about three foot long. But you can see there's that bit pattern, and then we've got the spotted African giraffe back there. Two beautiful looking fish. Now down here we have about six different marble cats, or Learius marmoratus. They are uh, over two foot, uh, around below 30 in inches or so. They all vary in that size. And down here is a true Learius pictus. He is a sailfin marble cat. And you can see he's got that white band going up. He's not putting up his sail right now, but his whiskers are extremely longer than the, the regular marble cats. In the back up here, we have a breeding pair of jaguars. His mate's probably behind the rock somewhere. And of course, we've got lemon barbs. These guys are one of my favorite fish. They look like a tinfoil barb, but they have these cool patterns on their scales and then beautiful yellow fins. What else do we have in here? Of course, we have another larger Atlantic tarpon. That This guy is actually going to go somewhere else that I will show you guys here shortly. Up top, we have the Marble Line Longnose Gar, along with several other silver arowanas that range from two foot all the way up to 34 inches, I believe. And then we've got these beautiful guys. That, those are Phoenix Bards. These come all the way from Asia. And uh, they, they don't look much when they are young, but when they get older, they get the pink faces and the pink fins, and they are a very attractive fish. Back in the back over here, we have a melanistic tropical gar, which is something you don't see all too often, but he's, uh, I'd say he's about two foot. And of course, we have the clown knives. There's probably about eight of them or so in here. And some regular iridescent sharks. And down here, we have black-eared pangaceus. These are in the Perun shark families. They are also called black-eared Perun sharks. We have a larger one over here. These guys can max out at about five foot, but they do have the mouth like a Perun shark. So you want to be careful of what you put in this tank because they just might end up as dinner. Down here, we have a short body Perun shark. You can see he's got a little couple deformities to him, but he's loved here nonetheless. Now I'm gonna take you guys out and show you the next part of Ohio Fish Rescue. Now, as you walk into this place, you see this massive mammoth 58,000 gallon pond. You can see it's equipped with all sorts of tropical-ish plants, birds of paradise, you know, peace lilies, palm trees. There's plants across this whole back of the pond. So we're, we're, we're going to start slow and then we're going to work our way big over here. You can see there's a big tub of plants with the grow light. That's to help filter out all the nitrates. We've got pothos growing all across the back. We've got creeping jennies, uh, philodendron. Um, there's all kinds of different plants in there. But the whole backdrop, this is uh, some koi that we have. So we have a 195 gallon koi with butterfly koi there, a 240 in the center, and then along the other side is a 195 with more fancy tailed goldfish. But coming out and looking at this 58,000 gallon pond. This is where we keep all of our predator fish. So we have things in here like red tail catfish. We have tiger shovel nose. We have Sperata uh, Aor, that's an Indian shovel nose. This guy right here is an Arapaima gigas. He is just over four and a half feet long. His name is Brutus, and he is definitely the king of the tank. He's just a big old water baby, but we have uh, tilapia cichladaries, probably over 22 inches. There goes a Perun shark. I'm going to guess him at about 26, 27 inches or so. I know when I put him in here, he was just over two foot and he's grown a lot. There we've got some of the big boy red tail cats. Of course, we have uh, iridescent sharks that are just over three foot. We have albino giant garamis. We have Niger catfish. Sorry about the glare, guys, but I do have skylights in here to bring some natural lighting. This was a pool that was transformed into a predator pond by Aquascape. You can look down there, there's that Sparata catfish and peacock bass. 
And then we've got these beauties over here. These are platinum alligator gar. And these guys are probably 32 to 35 inches long. They are, you know, uh, sit siblings. They were bought at the, the same time and these guys were donated to the, the rescue. And they've been living here ever since. There goes a Disticatus sexifasiatus. That's a very attractive fish to have in your aquarium. You just gotta watch out for fin nipping and eye biting. We've gotten real lucky with this guy. But every wet where you look, you're gonna find something else that's, you know, cool and amazing in this pond, like that guy right there. This is a giant Mexican musk turtle, and he came to us all the way from California from Mr. Vincent Wu. Some of you guys will probably recognize the name. Then we've got Dovi Cichlid right there. We've got a four foot short body alligator gar. Look at this beauty. And look at that mouth on her. Oh my God. I say it is a her because it is just a, a guess, but I do see the other uh, gars trying to actually mate with, with her. Not, nothing successful and I'm not pushing to try and mate them but that is just my guess on sexing because trying to sex a, a gar is very, very hard. We have other smaller alligator gar in here. But if you look closely, you can see all these tiny little fish diving in and out, out of the rocks. There's convict cichlids in here. There's uh, all, all different kinds of them in different colors. But let me see where I can find them. But then you see yellow fish and blue fish and they are all over the, these sides, and those are African cichlids. So when they have babies in, in here, some of them like to jump the overflow and get uh, washed down into the pond, and they've actually made a colony in the 58,000 gallon pond, which I think is pretty awesome. Now, we're gonna go back over here and just give you guys a look at this pond. This is just a magnificent creation, and the more time that goes on, just the, the more that it, it, it gets better and better. So if you look on the sides, we used to have it a white tile side, but we've been installing these rock sides right here, which we got from Universal Rocks, and they made this pond look so much better. It made me to look more naturalistic, and you can see we have these rock shelves, the, cichlids and whatnot can hide in that there and breed. There's also plecos, but like I said, just the tropical look of the plants. Now we're gonna go over here and look at the waterfalls. We've got that spillway bowl coming onto another cascading waterfall there, going through the river system to basically eat out all the nitrates and help with water changes. We're starting up the same thing over here. The palm tree loves the water. And there's some potho starting back there and also some creeping jenny. But I have some more growing out that we're gonna add to it. But there's another look at some of the fancy goldfish, ryukin, tarandas, stuff like that. Just a vast variety of fish and tanks here at the Ohio Fish Rescue. So you guys seen some pretty crazy fish and tanks to today. It was a longer video for us, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. But wait, we are not done. Over here we have this globe aquarium that uh, was featured on the, the show Tank. We are getting ready to set this up. And you guys see these black stands here. There's two of them. Well, that's because those are for the Bellagio tanks. Each tank is 20 foot long three foot wide and four foot tall, also featured on the show Tanked on Animal Planet. So we have both of them tanks sitting outside right now and they will be set up here shortly. Each one is 1,800 gallons. So that will be another 3,600 gallons onto our collection. And we have a koi pond in the backyard that is going in. That's going to be 40 foot long, 10 foot wide and several feet deep. It'll be about 12,000 gallons. And I have another 1,200 gallon uh, koi pond with a viewing window in it that will be going in outside. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see all our crazy adventures that we go on and tanks that we build, new fish that we, we acquire. But I just want, wanted to thank you guys for stopping in to watch today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of our crazy 
fish room. As always, stay fishy, my friend.